Cummins Power Generation Facility is set to begin manufacturing electrolyzers in Fridley. Hydrogen power is gaining popularity all across the world with many companies and countries getting on board. And with the development of the hydrogen industry, critics also have their concerns. Electrolyzer technology actually has been around for hundreds of years, so this is not sort of new science in a sense. Yet there's a lot to learn. Dr. Vincent Winstead researches renewable energy as a professor at Minnesota State University Mankato. What is an electrolyzer? Electrolyzers basically are a device that takes that uses electricity to break water. So water is a chemical composition of hydrogen and oxygen molecules. You use electricity to break that chemical bond to generate hydrogen and, and oxygen in its pure form. According to a press release from the White House, electrolyzers help produce clean hydrogen that is essential for reducing emissions and creating good paying jobs in manufacturing and industrial sectors and play a critical role in clean energy supply chains that until now have largely been produced overseas. Hydrogen power is a growing industry across the world, but there are criticisms. Basically, it's expensive. It's also difficult um, to argue that you're getting clean energy when you're getting when you're using electricity um, that's generated from let's say non-clean sources. Hydrogen is a little bit scary because it can, can combust and, it, and it's sort of invisible flames. So if it's in large quantities, uh, it can be a, a hazardous. Um, but under the right conditions, uh, storage of hydrogen is, it can be made perfectly safe. Ultimately, Dr. Winstead explains he's happy to be having this conversation. Our economy, our society really is, is uh, driven by energy and how we use energy. And so it's, it's, it touches everybody to an extent. It's good to talk about things that have you know global impact. Now there's a lot to learn about all of this. If you are interested in learning more, Dr. Winstead recommended some resources. We've got those resources on a link on our website at care11.com. All right, thanks, Megan.